Yes, it gives a lot. For A is happy, B is not. Yet B is worthy, I dare say, of more prosperity than A. Is B more worthy? I should say he's worth a great deal more than A. Yet A is happy, oh so happy, laughing, ha ha, jumping, ha ha, nectar, quapping, ha ha ha, ever joyous, ever gay, happy, undeserving A, ever joyous, ever gay, happy, undeserving gay. If I were fortune, which I'm not, B should enjoy A's happy lot, and A should die in misery. That is assuming I am B. But should A perish, that should be, of course, assuming I am B. B should be happy, oh so happy, laughing, ha ha, jumping, ha ha, next to popping, ha ha ha. But condemned to die is he, wretched, meritorious be. But condemned to die is he, wretched, meritorious be. Well, that's a nice mess you've got us into with your nodding head and deference due to a man of pedigree. Merely corroborative detail intended to give an artistic verisimilitude to an otherwise bold and unconvincing narrative. Corroborative detail, indeed. Corroborative fiddlesticks. And you're just as bad as he is with your cock and bull <laughs> stories of a catching his eye and his whistling in hair. That so like you must put in your all. How about you and your big right arm? Yes, and your snicker sneak. Well, never mind that now. There's only one thing to be done. Nanky Pooh hasn't started yet. He must come back to life at once. Here he is. Here, Nanky Pooh, I've good news for you. You're reprieved. But it's too late. I'm a dead man, and I'm off for my honeymoon. Nonsense. Something terrible has just happened. It seems you're the son of Mikado. Yes, but that happened some time ago. It's this time for every persiflage. Your father is here and with Katisha. My father and with Katisha? Yes, and he wants you particularly. So does she. Oh, but he's married now. But bless my heart, what's that got to do with it? Katisha claims me in marriage, but I can't marry her because I'm married already. Consequently, she will insist upon my execution, and if I'm executed, my wife will have to be buried alive. Mm, you see our difficulty? Yes, I don't know what's to be done. There is... One chance for you. If you could persuade Katisha to marry you, <laughs> she would have no further claim on me. And in that case, I could come back to life without any fear of being put to death. <laughs> I marry Katisha! I really think it's the only course. My good girl, have you seen her? She's something appalling! Ah, oh, yes, but that's just her face. She has a left elbow which people go miles to see. Oh, I hear her right heel is much admired by connoisseurs. My good sir, I refuse to pin my heart on any lady's right heel. <laughs> it comes to this. While Katisha is single, I prefer to remain a disembodied spirit. When she is married, existence will be as welcome as the flowers of spring. <laughs> Flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la, breathe promise of merry sunshine. As we merrily dance, we sing, tra la, we welcome the hope that they bring, tra la, of a summer of roses and wine, of a summer of roses and wine. And that's what we mean when we say that a thing is welcome as flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la 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 la, tra la la la, the flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. have nothing to do with the case. I've got to take under my wing, tra-la, a most unattractive
attractive old thing Trella With a caricature of a face With a caricature of a face And that's what I mean when I say Oh, I sing Oh, bother the flowers that bloom in the spring Tra-la-la-la-la Tra-la-la-la-la Oh, bugger the flowers of spring 